So I'm Jay Lodgelin. Um, I'm known as Lodge Online or Jay Lodgelin on GitHub. I'm part of PL Outer Core, as I mentioned this morning, and I work on the Estuary Project, among other things. And I can't see my notes. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> so as part of the agenda today, I'm, I'm going to cover uh, the whys of Estuary, how it works. Um, Estuary is an IPF IPFS implementation, how it sort of differs um, from the ones spoken about today. Um, how one of the kind of keys to Estuary is like uh, user friendliness for developers. Um, web two and like trad tech guys like me. Um, and we'll, we'll touch on the metrics a little bit, the future of estuary, and hopefully if there's time, there might not be with all that finagling at the beginning, we'll talk about a little bit about the orbiting bodies around it. <clears throat> so uh, using the Filecoin network directly to upload your data has its challenges. Um, you need to set up and use your own nodes. Um, which can take a considerable amount of compute po power um, and know how, know how to kind of build um, the client uh, specifically for your platform. Um, Estuary was, is sort of built um, to address that, all, all of those sort of issues um, that kind of reflect that. Um, so it's really built to be a communication and storage broker uh, between the client providing the data uh, with the storage providers on the Filecoin network. Um, and the basic flow is once a deal is made, the provider stores the client's files and the SID um, on the, the Filecoin blockchain. Uh, initially, the data is pinned onto the estuary IPFS node. Um, the estuary uh, node is an IPFS node uh, for hot storage. So as soon as you put it up there, it's available right away. Um, and then, this process is kind of replicated, or the process of pushing the data out onto the Filecoin network is replicated six times um, to, to ensure the data is always accessible um, in case a storage provider goes down or pulls the plug on you. Um, and once the storage deals are completed, hot and cold storage become completely available. So yeah. This is me, Web2 trad tech guy coming in saying, why, well, why don't I just write it myself? I can just look at the source code and, and build it myself. Yeah, no, not so much. Um, Estuary uses several libraries and supporting pro protocols in an attempt to amalgamate, I hope I get this right, Lotus, Kubo, and Friends. Does that sound-ish, right? Yeah, OK, I'll go with that. Um, so it makes the IPFS node pretty complicated with a lot of moving parts, um, especially if you're a guy like me. Um, that's been in, in sort of the traditional tech world. Um, and yeah, digging into the code, this is um, kind of the <laughs> what I have to deal with or what, what one would have to deal with uh, if you wanted to, to sort of create it yourself. So um, the mission is ease of use. Um, and I got a quick little video here to show. I'm going to try to skip through it, but it's a very, very simple drag and drop interface. Um, that everybody here is familiar with. So you just drop your files in, and in the interest of time, I'm gonna like skip ahead. And as soon as it turns green, it's all uploaded. Um, and initially, again, it's gonna be pinned um, onto the node. And then you can navigate over and take a look at all your files that have been uploaded. So it's immediately available as soon as you push it up. And so once you push it up, you, see, you can see the sort of uh, six box indicator to indicate, OK, these are the receipts um, that, that came back from the file going network. Um, that This can take a little bit of time um, to happen. But again, you've got the, the hot storage and the sort of cold storage uh, combination. Um, also, extremely important to have accessibility to your files all around the world. Uh, Estuary makes this a quote-unquote five-minute problem, right? You, you guys just saw it. You just drag and drop your your large data into right into Estuary in the you know, you know in the in the user interface or through an API token. Um, it's we have a standard REST API to, to interface with. So, kind of digging a little deeper. 
Um, why, really, why was it built this way? Well, we wanted everything to be retrievable from an embedded Kubo, Lotus, and Friends node, right? Um, because file coin retrieval at the time, at least that it was written, is a little bit cumbersome. Um, anything up uploaded to Estuary is retrievable from any I IPFS gateway. And uh, once we get auto retrieve up and running, we won't actually have to pin things locally on Estuary, which will save uh, even more re resources locally. Um, so Estuary has two primary components. Um, the, prime the main node or primary node, as it's called, is like that a big giant box in the middle. And then um, it's got uh, shuttles as well that help scale uh, the pinning of data. Um, the, node, the node, or I guess this talking about the data flow, the clients communicate with the, the estuary nodes, the primary node, or the, the secondary shuttle nodes. Um, they can, you can interact with those directly as well uh, to push your data up. Node checks for registered service providers, create six deals with the six X replication. Um, and then transfers it over using uh, the bit swap, bit swap protocol. Uh, and uh, we utilize um, a local client called Fill Client, which is like a lightweight Filecoin client um, maintained by Application Research, which is the group I work for. Um, the primary node itself has seven components. Um, probably the most important, or like the secret sauce, is the content manager. Um, this is where the verification and, and happens with the, the, the 6x copies across the file going network. Um, then there's like the deal maker, which is like a storage provider check when the storage provider is added to the system. Um, and it's, it kind of spreads the deals like 50-50 between top tier and lower tier, so it does a balance. Um, you could potentially download the node yourself, the code yourself, and, and adjust that. Uh, that's, that's just what we chose. Um, and importantly, the staging manager uh, writes uh, to IPFS or writes to the manages the IPFS pinning, which as of I think last month is 100% compatible with the IPFS pinning API, which is pretty rad. Um, and then we've got the standard API service, which talks HTTP, um, and this is sort of the the bridge back into to Web two, uh, Web two, right? So yeah, like I said before, uh, shuttles are, are how we horizontally distribute payloads uh, into Estuary. The primary node can instruct sh shuttles to talk to each other, IPFS nodes. Um, shuttles are actually shuttles themselves. Uh, uh, sorry, shuttles are full IPFS nodes, rather. Um, and shuttles can actually be co-located with the data, um, which is kind of handy if you're, you're um, pushing a lot of data up to certain areas of the globe. And sort of the other piece, I guess, to Estuary is, OK, we've got this kind of cool broker that's up and running. How do we actually push data up? Um, so there's, there's a small project that's sort of kind of sitting on its own now. It used to be part of the primary project. We just kind of moved it out on its own. Um, and it's called Barge. Um, so it's a CLI tool that directly uses Estuary API to stream and upload files into the Filecoin network. So how do uh, web two or web developers actually use this, or how do web developers actually use this? Um, again, with the feature of um, it is its ease of use, right? Um, so this, this page, if, if you guys go to uh, docs.estuary.tech, um, it'll kind of show you this, this docs page. And what's kind of cool is Cake built this really neat sort of interactive way to sort of play with uh, the different API calls through a React component, and it's live. So if you've got a if you've got a key, you can uh, you know f perform all your operations right in in kind of in line and and start playing around with the API. So I think it's pretty rad. Yeah. So this was this is what file upload would look like. I'm just going to skip over these uh, listing files, add car files. And collections, we have a concept called collect collections, which is just sort of like, uh, I guess, a folder for estuary-based um, SIDs. Um, and then, of course, we have access to uh, deeper ex examples um, into the APIs, such as pinning deals, uh, minor, API, uh, minor APIs. You can actually like um, direct your 
directed to, to uh, any storage provider that you want, um, supported by the, the node. Um, and then there's an admin system API as well. And so, again, I, I keep harping on it, but um, kind of as a new guy coming in, I found this to be really handy. Um, there's a lot of SDKs and libraries available um, for, uh, for Estuary. Um, this is because um, we utilize something called Swagger, which most people in the room know, I think. Um, once you have it in Swagger format, you can kind of generate any language that you want. Um, and we, we've kind of incorporated that, or we're in the process of incorporating that into our CI CD pipelines. Um, so yeah, if anybody here would like an invite, I know there's at least one person that wants to uh, kind of play around with uh, Estuary. Please give me a tug on me. It's the fastest way to do it. Um, yeah, so there's sort of two sides, so, uh, two halves of what we do, estuary.tech, like the, the, the web service, I guess, that we provide. Um, the other half is actually maintaining a usable open source stack. So anybody should be able to download a build or download a release of Estuary. Um, so we just kind of got, recently got in, into a monthly release cadence, a minimum monthly release cadence. Uh, lately it's been a little bit more aggressive, um, but our goal is to be stable enough to finally get out of alpha soon. Um, so the timing was great. Yesterday, we reached one petabyte of total sealed storage, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and so here's a chart of the on-chain and sealed data um, we've onboarded onto the Filecoin network since April 2021. Um, you can see that it sort of has an inverse relationship uh, with the crypto markets, meaning that Awesome, we're in full build mode, so keep it up. So the future of Estuary, um, some pain points, any file over uh, 31 gigs runs into problems with splitting. We don't do encryption yet, it's coming. Um, and some storage providers have mentioned to us they don't actually like dealing with online deals. Um, future goals, make it easier to onboard data into Filecoin, onboard more data, um, uh, expand projects using Estuary. We're starting to do that um, internally, but we'd like to get other teams sort of doing that as well. Um, broaden our network, uh, and most importantly, I think, uh, in the short term is to get auto retrieve up and running. And so that's the team. Uh, Cake has recently changed his name, in case anybody didn't know. It's now that <laughs> and I am over and it's too bad because I wanted to talk about this but if anybody wants to talk about the interplanetary container registry with me I've got like four or five slides that I just like threw together right now but thanks a lot <laughs>